welcome to this lecture. Today, we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always, I will be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University, which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. Suppose you had to go through certain five processes to produce any product or to sell any service. Suppose these are the process A, process B, C, process D and process E. At the end of the chain, you will get your product or service and this will be handled to the customers. Suppose the customers have found the defect with your product or service. Suppose the quality assurance find the defects and the customers could also be external. Any action followed after the defect or complaint is registered is called corrective actions. You can define it as any action done to prevent the reoccurrence of the same or similar kinds of problem. Once the problem is identified, it is necessary to separate the process varying problem with the rest of the process. Suppose you know for sure that process A and B do not contain the problem but you aren't sure about process C, D and E. Any of these processes or say sometimes all of these processes may wear some problem. So we have to separate these processes so that they do not further contaminate or affect the other process or services. We have to make sure the defective products are separated to reach from the hands of the customers. This is called containment or sealing. We will study about this in the D0 phase of the root cause analysis. Now we have already spotted out the problem through internal or external customers and contained or sealed the source of the problem and now we need to find out the root cause of the problem. Any one of this process or all of this process as we discussed earlier could be the source of the problem. Suppose we found out that the root cause uh, process is the process D, so we contain only process D and we have corrective actions applied at process D. There are various kinds of corrective actions. One is containment, that is immediate corrective actions, but we immediately do this action as the problem is identified. We have already discussed about this. There is also permanent corrective actions. So what is permanent corrective actions? These are the actions taken to permanently solve the problem and that is followed once we do the immediate corrective actions. Another is preventive actions. This is the action that helps to prevent the future reoccurrence of the same or similar kinds of the problem in future. Let me make you more clear about the permanent and preventive actions with an example. Suppose we are dealing with a case uh, that is uh, there is a leak of company's secret information which is clearly the violation of the company's policy. As we had discussed before, the corrective actions could be immediate corrective actions and the permanent corrective actions. As the immediate corrective actions, the whole department was sealed to investigate. This is called containment. And as a permanent corrective actions, when the cause of the problem or one employee was identified, who is violating the company's policy and leaking the secret information. The management either warned or fired an employee which was responsible for that problem or leaking of the secret information. And the preventive action could be the more secure software system was developed and used and also the access to only restricted persons with the password protections to the secret information was provided so that no such incidents gets repeated in the future. After working in process and project management in many companies, I've found that when mistakes happen, they are not the result of any individual alone. The root cause is often the overall system. So basically, when you do or perform the root cause analysis, you have to be out of the blame game and your key focus should be improving the whole system for better, not firing the staffs. So this is all about this lecture. We learned important concepts like containment, immediate, permanent and preventive corrective actions in this lecture with example. Before ending this lecture, let me remind you to join my Lean University's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for limited time inside my Lean University's online library and get tons of free courses, free books 
and lecture topics on project management, Lean and Six Sigma, operations and supply chain, productive and preventive maintenance, quality maintenance, data science, industry and sales management, Agile and Scrum, Kaizen or continuous improvement, and much more totally free. No strings attached. As we have limited seats, only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership. And remember, it's totally free. Please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all.